Typically, you would perform a factory reset on an Apple Macintosh computer if its operating system has become corrupt. You want a clean start with macOS, or you intend to sell, give away, or decommission your computer. However, if you intend to sell or give away your computer, you need to check that the data on your hard drive has been encrypted, as this will ensure that after the factory reset, there is no way anyone else will be able to recover any of your data. To check if your hard drive has been encrypted, if you open System Settings, and from the sidebar, locate and choose Privacy and Security. From within the Privacy and Security panel, if we now scroll through the options and find File Vault, if the button next to File Vault is marked as Turn On, your hard drive is not encrypted. Let's factory reset this computer. If from the sidebar we select General, and in the main panel choose Transfer or Reset, we are presented with two options, Open Migration Assistant and Arrays or Content and Settings. Let's select Arrays or Content and Settings. We're now prompted to enter the administrator's credentials for this computer. After selecting Unlock, the Arrays or Contents and Settings window will open. This window basically informs us that all settings, media and data will be erased, and the computer will be signed out of our Apple account, all Bluetooth accessories will be unpaired, and the Find My and Activation Lock will be turned off. If we choose Continue, we are prompted to sign out of our Apple ID by entering its password. If we select Continue, we are once again prompted for our Apple ID password in order to sign out of Find My. We're now prompted to enter a verification code that will have been sent to a different device that we own. After entering the verification code, we receive a window prompting us that we're about to erase all content and settings on our Mac and return it to its factory default. When we select Erase All Content and Settings, our computer will reboot and we will see an Apple logo and a progress bar. How long it takes to perform a factory reset will depend on the size of the storage fitted to your Mac. However, you will find that your computer will reboot multiple times while it is being factory reset. So it is important that while your computer resets, you do not power it down or remove it from its power source as this might corrupt the clean version of macOS that you are installing. Once your computer has completed its reset, you will see the initial macOS setup wizard. It is at this point that you can either reset up your computer or power it down.